Not an easy thing to pick a football team of the week when there's so many games going on and so many big performances out there. But we'll make uh, we'll make it a blast at it nonetheless. Um, Michal Martin, son of the Taoiseach, played in goals for uh, Cork. And you could easily look at having him in on the team of the week. And it was definitely something I toyed with. Uh, he made that great save against Brian O'Biogli. He went along with his kickouts pretty much every time, something like 23 out of 26. And you can't necessarily uh, blame him for doing so. No doubt that was a team instruction. But um, putting uh, Niall Corbett of Leash in goals, he was crucial for, for uh, Leash in their win over Longford came from behind and he made two crucial saves in the first half. Uh, manager Mike Quirk was was very, very uh, praiseful after the game for him. So I think Niall Corbett will just about get in there. Go with a full back line of Sean Powter, Morris Shanley and Shea Ryan. Shea Ryan was brilliant for Kildare over the weekend against Offaly. He got back a last ditch sort of a clearance off the line. And a goal would have been uh, would have been very problematic for them, and who knows, maybe they wouldn't have come through twenty points to sixteen if uh, if it wasn't for that intervention. And he certainly was very highly rated by all the different newspapers for his performance. Very heavily leaned towards um, Cork in that full back line. Sean Powder was absolutely brilliant. Won that equalising free towards at the very end of normal time. To be fair, he probably went down a bit handy, and the referee sort of bought one. But um, he was just up and down like uh, all day long and brilliant performance and if he hadn't been injured for the last couple of years on and off at times his hamstrings have plagued him he uh he'd have established himself as one of the best players in the country um by now and i would imagine a lot of people who didn't know of him are waking up to him at this point morris shanley you know i mean it's tough in that full back lane when you've david clifford in, clifford in there when you've um tony brosnan and also and i think all in all he held up pretty well like david clifford scored that Unbelievable point at one stage, the one that Kevin McStay was so effusive in his praise of. But I was actually watching it back and I was thinking, Morris Shanley has done everything he possibly can to try and uh, make it a really difficult attempt for David Clifford. So, I mean, that in itself, I was just thinking, you know, he's really up against it. A wet day against a player who's got the, the movement of Clifford, who can shoot off both sides to do relatively well and I know obviously he rode his look a little bit with that shot going just off the outside of the post when Clifford went for the goal attempt but sometimes you have to ride your look especially when you're up against a team like Kerry and um, congratulations to him. I would have also looked at putting Sean Meehan in there his patience on the ball towards the end of extra time helped set up that that winner but uh, he didn't quite make the team on this occasion. The half back line Paddy Durkin was immense for Mayo scored two points from wing back and you completely blotted out Enda Smith. I was also thinking about putting Lee Keegan in here for the job he did at Cahill Craig, but just about went for Dirk, and he's just driving runs up the centre, and he's not far off the best wing back in the game at the moment. Michael McCann was exceptional for Antrim. Again, newspapers very, very, uh, very rating him very, very highly, some nines out of ten out there, and in a game they're losing to Cavan. He was obviously very, very good. Quailon Mooney, he was just driving forward all the time for down, scored two points. And you know, when players like him are driving through, he obviously has that AFL background, so we know how athletic he has to be to be considered going down under. And uh, two points, just driving forward all day, and he makes the team. And they need more of that if they're gonna if they're gonna topple, um, if they're gonna go through the Ulster semi final this weekend. So midfield, Kevin Feely, brilliant performance against Offaly. He's the lord of the skies, as we've, seen, as we've seen before, and he's just a brilliant player cruising across the turf. Killian O'Hanlon probably didn't start off the game brilliantly against Kerry, but a couple of the place balls he kicked were massive. So uh, that and, and just hanging in there the whole the whole way, he was um, he definitely was really important for the Rebels. Half forward line, Neil Flynn obviously did the story earlier. You can check it on our game.ie about but coming on for Kildare 24 hours after laying his father Fergal to rest and coming in hitting three massive scores uh, just the bravery required to to turn around a day later and do that and no doubt to dedicate it to his dad and uh, best wishes to his family and I think it was worth having him in here there's a lot of players who played played really well Parik Faulkner is another one that I probably haven't that I haven't mentioned just yet but I think Flynn uh, deserves a mention here because of uh, the circumstances in which he did that. Kieran Kilkenny was brilliant against Westmead, scored five points from play. He just seems to be getting better and better and he was a cast iron selection here. Killian Spillane came on and hit three points for Kerry. He turned the game for them, to be fair. I mean, I, obviously they didn't win, but they were really, really struggling from play to do a whole pile. And it was no problem to Spillane. He was, he was exceptional. 
I was thinking Desi Reynolds might be in line here. He was he was good for Longford, scored 1-1. One, one. Taken off with 10 minutes to go, which was probably a little bit of an unusual one. A couple of guys for Leash on the other side, Gary Walsh. Now, it was all, I think it was seven out of eight points he scored from place balls, but he was key to the comeback, as was Paul Kingston, who nailed a nice goal. Killian O'Connor could have been mentioned. Don O'Hare down, and I've already mentioned Killian Spillane. But on the inside line, I've gone with Connor Sweeney, who was brilliant for Tipperary, and obviously scored that iconic si- uh, free out at the side to take it to uh, extra time. He was class. Luke Connolly came on as a sub, much like Killian Spillane. It just shows the impact that subs can have. The two of them get on this team of the week. And he hit, just hit some clutch frees and just contributed well from play. And even his shot, the drop short, ended up with the winning goal for Mark Keane. So Luke Connolly had to get in there. And then Derek Kerwin was brilliant for, for Kildare. He hit six points and uh, an exceptional display. If there's anyone I haven't mentioned or you think should be in there or anyone I'm... Um, that I've gotten it wrong on. Let me know what you think and uh, comment on YouTube or on the website or even on social media.